Here you can see the mostly intact front section. This building was said to be built between 1830 and 1860. This is the front cellar, which probably would have been the cellar for a wooden section. The entire length of the cellar sections measures about 82 feet. Here's a close-up of the doorway and stonework. In some of the remaining wood over the doorways, there are signs of fire damage. You can see a partially intact wall at about first floor level. The rest has tumbled inward. This is the cellar fireplace. And above it, the first floor fireplace. Despite sandstone being a strange choice for building a structure, it seems to have held up as well, at least, as the other stone. Here is the small remaining section of another wall. This is the wall and doorway we just entered, with the precariously balanced keystone at the top. Notice the mixture of stone types. This seems to be made primarily of a white granite, interspaced with what looks like some sort of sandstone. This long rectangular indentation must be part of the fireplace system. This is the front cellar. The back cellar section, hard to recognize it as anything. Looking at the front intact section from the back. This depression and jumble of stones must have been a barn or other outbuilding, but it is barely recognizable as anything man-made. A final shot from a distance. You can find stills of this structure on page 20 of the Old Abandoned Buildings of Northern New York website.